good day we're going to unbox this new model of east it's a hybrid solar inverter so this one uh, is a five kilowatt model it's big it's huge so got this from a forwarder and let's open and what to look what's inside It's a huge inverter. Okay. what's inside and wow this one is white so it comes with a manual the user manual the antenna is installed inside uh, it has its own built-in Wi-Fi already so the model is 5 kilowatts set that aside and here it is a huge white inverter hybrid so all those accessories one is for the USB connectivity We put uh, uh, this one is the CT sensor for the limiter and cables and lugs and this one is for the RS485 if you want to connect it which the limiter will be connected so let's get a closer look and by the way this is huge so just to give you a perspective this one is That's 24 inch by 20. Yes. That is 6 inch. It's pretty huge. Oh my. How do we open this? Okay, let us check its component. Wow. this is interesting now this one has its I, I think this one is for the PV switch or the battery switch which is uh, yeah. this one is the PV so it's its own PV disconnect it has two PV inputs so it's PV1 PV2 you have the grid and this is for your EPS so this is the off-grid side of the inverter so the 
APS is 3 kVA. We're going to check the manual later. And this is the built-in Wi-Fi that they have. So RS-485, USB, and BMS if you have the lithium. And on the other side, this is the battery. So it's pretty huge. Uh, so you have to mount this, same thing as the 3.6. Uh, just the hinge so that's why you have a huge very huge screws and this one for you to be able to mount this properly So it's LCD, the same thing with the 3.6, and the good thing is it's already white. So let's check where's the okay, the sticker is here. So So it's five kilo, five thousand watts. Rated input voltage is three sixty. Everything in here. So the input rated input current is thirteen amps. Rated output current is 21.7 and for the battery you have a 48 BDC so it is capable of lithium and lead acid also. Maximum charge current is 50. Discharge is 62. Oh, it's huge. So the next time I'm going to power this up and let's check its performance. So, bye for now and let's see what this thing in store for us for a couple of days.